Hey guys, welcome back to Tip Talks 22. So this video is going to be a little different because um, I just wanted to share some information, right, um, about, you know, astrology, the zodiac or whatnot that I thought people would be kind of into. Um, I made a post one day, I shared a post and it seemed to have gotten, you know, quite a bit of interest and I was like, I wonder if people know this stuff or, you know, if it'd be something good to talk about. So, um, I'm going to talk about it because it has definitely helped me to understand, um, you know, what I see and uh, more about myself, right? So what is that? The birth chart. So, um... Your birth chart is essentially where the sun and the moon and the planets were at your time of birth, right? So it's how we figure our sun sign, our moon sign, our rising sign, and all the things. And so um, you'll often hear, especially if you follow tarot, you'll often hear people say, um, you know, watch your top three. And your top three are your sun, moon, and rising because they kind of give you the whole picture of who you are right or what's going on with you and so i wanted to talk about those just a little bit but first let me tell you um what a, well we will we already talked about that what a birth chart is is literally just a chart that lists all of the planets your houses um and the planets that are in those certain houses at certain times on the day and the time that you were born. Uh, you don't really need a time to determine your sun and moon sign. But you have to have a time for your rising. Uh, to uh, That's like a specific birth time. Y'all, I had looked it up so many times. <sighs> so now I'm kind of like, I think it's this, right? <laughs> but whatever, I, don't, I already have my birth chart. So I don't really look it up anymore. Um, and I really am aware i think i learned so much from pulling my birth chart so first let's talk about the sun sign your sun sign is um the most commonly known it is the month that you were born it's based on the month that you were born so for me my sun sign would be leo because i was born august 16th anyway uh did i want to say that yeah whatever okay um I'm a August Leo. Yeah. <laughs> I should have just said it that way. Damn. That's okay. So anyway, your sun sign, what does it say about you? What does it tell you? Tell us. It is basically all about your ego self, your identity, your personality, right? Your individuality and how you express that. Um, it is your mood on the outside, how you appear. So for and that and that's like the most commonly known. People usually attribute outer appearance or outer perspectives to the sun sign um when i am listening to tarot the the rare times that i get to do it now i tend to i listen to my sun sign just to see if it resonates but um for like a bigger understanding i definitely relate more to the rising sign um and that's because the rising sign kind of embodies all three aspects of you um, in one one place, right? So anyway, your sun sign, for me, I feel like most of the things that are attributed to sun signs are often like character traits. And they can be true, they can be valid, but they're also... For me, anyway, I feel like it was when I was more unevolved, right? So, <laughs> so let me give you an example. Like, they say that Leos love the spotlight. Um, Leos are natural born leaders. Of course, I really truly believe that. The part about the leadership, they definitely don't have a problem taking the spotlight or being in, in the spotlight. But, um... Even in my evolution, it's not necessarily something that I seek. You know what I'm saying? It's like, even on jobs. <laughs> jobs that I've held in the past, you kind of tend to be the one to take charge. Because it's like, well, hell, ain't nobody else doing it. You might as well do it, right? Uh, but when it comes time for like recognition, I'm like, okay, hey, all right. You know, I'm a little more shy. 
I feel like I've always been kind of shy. So it really, I don't like to do a blanket statement like, oh, she's such a Leo. But it really does apply, but it's not like, there's always an exception. I'll say that. Okay, so I feel like the sun sign is the stereotypical belief of, of what that person is like, that person's personality. Um, yeah, and then let's move on really quickly. I don't want this video to be super long. I was just like, let me just touch on these things a little bit. And I still consider myself to be kind of a novice, you know, a rookie in this information. Even though I've used it to help myself personally, it's not like I could sit here and tell you character traits about every single sign. I can't. Like, I'll have to look it up, you know. I can, but I, I'm going to look it up first. <laughs> anyway, so the moon sign. The moon sign, of course, in tarot with the moon card, the moon card is usually... Um, what is it's connected to your emotions of course but it's also connected to an energy of secrecy it's connected to um reflection like deep thought right so that's very much how you can remember that the moon side is your unconscious it is your subconscious it is your hidden emotional self it's the side of you that you don't really show so the sun your sun sign may be okay this is what i'm going to say publicly this is how i'm gonna act towards you but in my head i'm thinking this the moon sign is your in my head i'm thinking this right or in my heart i'm feeling this that's your moon sign um yeah so it is your deep thoughts about a situation on a whole so uh often if you're looking for at a love reading your moon sign is going to be truly reflective uh usually of the stuff that you ain't telling nobody okay so it is definitely what you feel on a heart level. And then, of course, the rising sign is going to be how the world views you, right? How you come off or how you appear to the world. It's their perception of you. It is... I don't want to say it's the mask because it's not the mask, but it's the total of you and the way that you present it's your representative that's how i want to that's what i want to call it it's also known as your uh, ascendant sign so on your birth chart it's usually noted by asc it's your ascending sign so that's your outer appearance it's your book cover it's your representative this is about your social personality um your physical and your outward style but like i said it kind of embodies the three the sun moon and the rising so a lot of times if you listen to um, your readings and you choose to listen to the, the rising sign it may resonate a lot more on a whole because it's this like it's like the whole you is embodied in that sign right uh, but like I said in order to pull your when you pull your birth chart in order to get your rising sign you have to know your specific birth time which of course can be found on your birth certificate so y'all i have had my mama several times like uh look for my birth certificate now i have my birth certificate and i show sure ain't digging for it i don't know where it is so i mean i know where it is it's in a box somewhere and i ain't looking so i'll be like i think it was this right <laughs> ain't that a trip she can look for it i just wasn't going to whatever y'all do it uh -huh. but yeah so that's the value of the rising sign so when you hear someone say your sun moon or rising those are the things that you're looking for um and even if you don't know your birth time a birth chart is still going to be super beneficial i remember i was going through my sister's one one day she um passed away years ago now and i say passed away she transitioned because i still talk to her all the time um years ago now and i remember reading to her about her specific signs y'all she just broke down crying i'm like why are you crying like but she was just like oh my gosh it's just so me right i feel like it really just broadens your understanding on a much deeper level so if you're really trying to figure out why am i like this or why am I this way? Or if you wanted to start doing some shadow work, this is a really great place to start. And of course, we still all have free will. Like I said, um, your sun sign it can show you as an un unevolved kind of individual. So, like, don't try or work to become 
what astrology tells you should you should be right always follow your heart but i feel like it just will give you or offer you insight that you may not be able to see just looking at you and going through your own experiences um there's one more that i also look at especially for love readings uh your venus um and this one's tricky because a lot of readers, when they pull cards, you know, like we, we said, well, I don't know if everybody, but I say my prayer and uh, you kind of set the qualifications for the reading like I want this time. So if it's like a reading for the energy of today or a reading for the week, right? It's the same way with the signs. So, so you ask Spirit to show you um, sun, moon, and rising for Leo today, for today, right? Um one, you're probably going to get a lot more stories because that's a lot more people. But two, everybody doesn't do that. A lot of times, it's just implied that, okay, this is just for the sun sign. So I notice when I speak that sun, moon, and rising to my guides, it usually gives me a lot more cards. So I don't always do it. <laughs> but if I do it, then I also will let you know before the reading starts. Like, this is going to be for sun, moon, and rising, right? Um, but the Venus sign, guys, this is the one when you're looking at a love reading that you probably really want to listen to. I say this is how you love. This this what you love like, okay? <laughs> your Venus sign. And it can really only be found on your birth chart. It's not something that you would just know or be able to figure out off top. But uh, this is your deepest desires around love. It's going to reflect that. It's going to reflect what you truly desire and um, what you express in love or how you express it your relationship values sensuality romance beauty affection and how you view those things is really indicative also of or it you can figure out what it is that you're attracted to based on your venus sign and also what type of person is going to be attracted to you as well so for example my venus is in libra and, uh, you know, Libras are super romantic. They enjoy in relationships balance, peace, and, of course, attractive things, beauty, right? And so um, I often tend to resonate with Libras sun signs because of that placement in my chart. So I feel like it just gives you a lot more of an understanding about who you are. And then the more that you study and, the, and read that and know certain things about you, it's really, really helpful to your growth, right? Any, any, Like anything, uh, when you understand or expand your knowledge base of it, then it's going to make you more comfortable in yourself, but also in the way that you interact, okay? Um, Mars, Mars, for example, think of that. Mars is a red planet, so I feel like Mars is how you get angry, okay? My Mars is, I don't remember, it's either Leo or Sagittarius. So, you know how that goes. When I get mad, I get big mad. <laughs> so, it's your attitude. It's your aggression. It's your drive. It is masculine energy. It's the masculine side of you, okay? Uh, if you ever want to check that out. Your part of fortune on your birth chart is usually going to be how you end up making your money. Um, for example, mine is in Aquarius. Of course, Aquarius is the, don't take offense, y'all. Aquarius is my quirky sign. That's how I describe them. Um, they are very mystical. They are into esoterics. They are into healing and those spiritual things, right? So, um, more than likely, and that's what's, what's taking place now, like, Years ago, I would have never thought that I would be <laughs> reading tarot, right? But had I looked at my birth chart, I probably would have gotten a heads up a little bit sooner, right? So when I saw that, I was blown away like, oh, that explains so much. Um, but yeah, and then we also have two things that you may hear quite often, your north node and your south node. Your south node is your comfort zone. It's who you already are. It's the lessons you've already mastered, right? It is like your past karma, your past lessons. So, of course, if you already know it, it's easy to be that, right? That's the easy part. Um, for example, my defensive energy. Like, it's easy. Eh, baby, that. 
plus my Mars, plus my sun sign, it is easy for me to snap on your ass, right? <laughs> but my north node is, and the north node is your destiny. It's your highest potential. It's your highest self, who you are meant to be, right? Who you're striving to be. That's the most difficult because it's outside of your comfort zone. It's the things you haven't mastered yet. So while it may be easy for me to snap on you, it is more... It's going to be indicative of more emotional balance, more self-restraint, um, and all the good things. North Node energy, if um, I'm able to not only show restraint, but show compassion instead of choosing to chew you out, right? So part of my evolution is mastering that ego energy and not feeling like it's necessary for me to clown you, right? So your north node is going to be who you're, who you're trying to become, who you're here to become, who you want to become. And your south node is like who you came here being. It's your comfort zone, okay? And then north node, of course, that's what's, what we're working towards. It's going to be the most difficult because it's like complete opposite of who we are. Anyway, so I just wanted to come on really in touch on the sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs um, because I know that that's something that people are wanting to know. And I want to encourage you guys to get your birth chart pulled. You definitely can go to cafeastrology.com. That's where I always pull mine from. Uh, I love their layout. I love how they explain everything. And then don't freak out if not everything that comes up on your chart feels like it applies to you. Because there are so many other things on the chart that, um, you know, interact. That's what I want to say. Transitions and all kinds of conjunctions and yeah. So, um, they all play a part or can play a small part. But your sun, moon, rising, top three. And then that Venus if you're interested in love. So definitely look those things up. Figure those things out about yourself and then get more from your tarot readings because, yeah, you're expanding in that way and you know what to look for, what signs to listen to, etc. I hope this was helpful, guys. I just wanted to do it. It's been on my mind to do for probably about two or three weeks now. I was like, girl, that's not going to take you but a few minutes, so knock it out. So that's what I did. I am today going to do a, um, a weekend preview, I think, per sign. So... Look for that if you haven't subscribed. Also, guys, we are almost at 500 subscribers. It's pretty awesome, pretty exciting. Um, like a year later, almost a year later. And I'm excited about that. It's growth for sure. It's slow and steady growth. And so I'm so grateful that you're here. But I am going to go live and do free tarot questions and readings um, when we get those next three subscribers. So tell a friend so we can go live and get some questions answered as my gratitude for your subscription. All right. I hope this was helpful. Have a great weekend. Stay tuned for the weekend update. Bye-bye.